Saturday, March 7th, was a beautiful day for the fourth and final races in the Yeti Snowshoe Series up Cypress Mountain. All right, looks like the ski patrol. Four, three, two, one. Hundreds of people come from across the province to participate in the 5 and 10K events. Ryan Irvin, who won the Mount Seymour 5K, notched up another victory. Put the Yeti on your list for next season. This week, the BC Collegiate Basketball Playoffs got underway at the Capilano University Sportsplex. On Thursday night, the Capilano Blues women's team hosted the UBC Okanagan Heat. Capilano got on the board first and used their speed to let the Heat know they had a scrap on their hands. The Heat responded and a seesaw battle began with both teams fighting for every possession. In the second period, the Blues offense went AWOL and the defense had trouble corralling rebounds. The Heat took full advantage. Score at the half, Capilano Blues 27, Okanagan Heat 33. The fans were having a blast. In the third period, the Blues regained their scoring touch and exploded for 40 points in the final frame. Notable contributors for the Blues included Brooke St. Germain, Rebecca Miltimore, and Mallory Gerwing. For the Heat, Madison Canada led the charge with 24 points but couldn't overcome the Blues scoring punch. Final score, Capilano Blues 82, Okanagan Heat 67. But the Blues were just getting started. Next up, the Blues were the visitors against the UNBC Timberwolves. The Timberwolves finished the season four points ahead of the Blues in second place, and Capilano was going to have to work for every point in this one. And work they did, outpacing the Wolves in the second quarter to take a slim lead into the break. Score at the half, Capilano Blues 42, UNBC Timberwolves 39. In the third period, the Blues kept the pressure on. Notable contributors for Capilano included Pam Goddard and Carly Babcock. For the Wolves, Jacqueline Nazarino, Erica Johnson, and Katie Dandino led the attack. In the fourth quarter, Blue scoring fell off and trouble at the free throw line would come to haunt them. They had their chances and with 37 seconds to play, it was a three-point game. The Blues couldn't ice the cake. The Timberwolves did. Final score, Capilano Blues 70, UNBC Timberwolves 75. That was it for the Blues. Thanks for a great season. Finally, Saturday, March 7th, was a great day for one of the Lower Mainland's most entertaining sporting events, rugby at North Vancouver's Klahani Park. Capilano First Division and Premier teams played host to the Velox Vale Halians from Victoria. The early First Division game saw 4-2 Capilano dominate the 2-4 Velox side. Capilano scored with impunity, and while Velox gave it a solid effort, they were kept scoreless. Frustrations mounted and boiled over at one point, but cooler heads prevailed. Final score, Capilano 66, Velox Valhalians nil. <laughs> the second afternoon game was a more even match as the two unbeaten Premier teams faced off. <laughs> Capilano opened the scoring on a penalty kick, and Velox replied with a try. <laughs> Capilano would add a brace of tries before the break and take a 15-5 lead into the half. Capilano scored again in the second half, but it wasn't long before hard feelings surfaced again. 
An indiscretion led to a yellow card for Capilano's Luke Cadmore, and that wasn't the end of it. Fortunately, tempers cooled enough to finish the game and sit down for a meal after. Final score, Capilano 22, VLOX 5. Coming up March 9th to 14th. Triple A Senior Girls Rugby League play Monday at Mulgrave. BC High School Triple A Senior Boys Basketball Playoffs at the Agridome. BC High School Triple A Senior Girls Basketball Playoffs at Capilano. Carson Graham versus Vancouver College in Triple A Senior Boys Rugby League play. Got a big game or special event? Give us a call! Get out and support your North Shore teams. We'll see you next Monday on Sports Week. Stronger than dirt.